Let's go, boys. Rock and roll. Let's rock and roll, boys. Hey, I'm Willie Robertson. Welcome to our show, Buck Commander. I've got the kids in camp, all the little toddlers, so uh, we got a good plan. We're set up. Hopefully, we get something. Um, and yeah, we've had a series of contests and we've been playing some games. And so, hopefully, tonight we will see our first whitetail in camp. Um, Dead. Yeah. Well, I'm going out, so I feel confident we, the percentages just went up. So we have, we've got these things covered, so uh, I feel good tonight. Vinny tried to get me to shoot this deer earlier, but I didn't like him because I thought, you never know. We're just going to hold out here. Maybe we'll see something better. And I looked up, and I saw this deer just like posted up, just a freaking stud. And I don't know where he came from. Yeah, he was over in the palmettas, and so we, uh, we it happened quickly. We just got up on him and rolled him. So. Well, I want to thank my sponsors, Luke Brown. Uh, thank you, Luke, for sponsoring me. Um, this is a Team Realtree hunt, sponsored by Luke, Realtree, um, and everybody else. Well, he didn't go far. Oh, man, look at this guy. It's not just about whacking animals, it's about, really this trip was about spending family time, being with the boys and teaching them. Uh, I've had a lot of good devotionals. Um, yeah, and just really getting to meet, you know, and uh, sustaining and cleaning these things and figuring out what to do and how to cook them. And yeah, man, I'm just trying to teach them how to survive just in case we gotta go do it ourselves. you know. We, we wanna have that skill set, so um, yeah. Good deer, mature. Uh, and uh, just thankful to have him. Hey, what's up guys? This is Chef Willie here, and the reason I'm a chef is because I put a hat on. So uh, welcome to my kitchen. We got our buck the other day, and now we are ready to actually grind it down. I find that the older I get, the more I want to do stuff myself, and so uh, a lot of us get deer or get meat and we send it to the processor and wait for it to come back. So uh, I have found a product where you can do it yourself. It's called Meat Your Maker. Uh, and I love it because uh, a lot of us send our deer off, we get it processed, you don't know what's going to happen to it. It comes back and they have a hair or two on there. So I like seeing it all the way from uh, farm to my table even the processes in between. And so I'm gonna show you how to grind it really easy. And uh, at the end, we're gonna make deer chili, uh, which is one of our favorites here at the Robertson household. And we are taking this the whole way. So watch. And now we montage. Oh boy, it's all part of the it's all part of the process. Let him be in the shot. Hey, I'm new to all this as well, so but it looked. These guys have made it really simple. Because normally you're paying somebody to do this. And now I'm just paying myself. 
Oh, yeah, baby. Grind it. Grind it. All right, we're gonna pack our meat now because I've got extra, um, and so I've got way too much for the chili, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack this. I'm gonna do it like in the pound packages, and so then I can have meat for later. So, let's do it. Oh, this is a big one, it's gonna be a good one. You got a good, you got a good stuff going here. And there you go. There's your bagged meat. All right, so as you can see, Meet Your Maker can take your meat straight from the field and we can put it all nice and clean and packaged and ground. So we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna make venison chili. But, all right, let's clean up. All right, clean this crap up, we got, we got chili in there. All right, we'll give ourselves room here uh, to put the chili and we will fire the pit boss up. That's good. So we'll let that get cranked up and going. All right, now this venison is really lean, so I'm gonna add a little bit of beef just for the fat. Oh yeah. Let's put some more in there. Oh man, that smells good, Jordan. Got a little, my pit boss uh, smoky salt and pepper rub. One thing I don't like is people who just mash it all up. Then your chili is gonna be like a big mush. And so I like chunks of chili. So I'm very particular about browning my meat. All right, so now I'm gonna put the vegetables on there and kind of do them and did y'all push the button again? Okay, they ruined my vegetables, so we're gonna put that in there. That should not be that, while I cut another onion. I mean, it's not the worst thing that you put more vegetables in it. And so you can always cook these down but I just like them to be a little bit more coarse. Right way. So this is the right way. We're in at the pulse. Uh, 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 uh. Done. So you can see we had mush pit a while ago. That's what most people do. But we're gonna keep a little bit more of the consistency of the, of the vegetable. So, I mean, I think chili is really simple. Some people get really complicated, so however you do it. I mean, this is what I would do. Um, obviously, I'm not looking at the recipe. I've done this a lot. Um, but we got our veggies and we got our meat. My wife does not like it spicy. She does not like it over the top in any way. And if I did it my, for myself, it would be like two hours later. We got a problem because I like it super spicy, but this will be pretty mild um, and able for everyone to eat. And then you can always come and dump something else in there you want later after it's cooked. So yeah, you can see our juice is coming out now from the veggies. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna cook that down a bit. Okay, we got our meat and vegetables in there. That's all the flavors. We're gonna add our little tomato blend. Okay. So we have a little garlic. 
I'm cheating today. I'm getting already ground. How much? That much, and then that much. Looks good. Just put a little chili powder. Here you go. Hey, this is chili seasoning. Mm-hmm. That's good. And you're like, what is that? I'll never tell. <laughs> well, that's good. Just tell by the color, you can see it darkening up. All right. We're gonna double bean it. Oh yes, Jordan. Jordan, my precious. So I'm gonna finish this in my pit boss. Uh, we're gonna cover it up, put it in there, let that smoke. It's gonna keep cooking, uh, low temperature, but that smoke will get all in there and give it that smoky, chili venison flavor. So let's put her out there. Oh yeah, nice and smoky. All right, cut it up here. Just a little over 200. Just keep it warm, keep it smoky, and then you got to worry about it. So if you got something else you got going on, you know it's safe in here. It's gonna stay warm, and yeah, we'll cook that down. And It'll be delish. All right. I think we are ready. Nothing like a little waffle smoke. Oh yeah, baby. So there's our smoked venison chili uh, that we ground ourselves, and so we got supper tonight, and uh, good luck. Let me know how yours turns out. See y'all.